Um, what's that guy's problem? Oh, oh, he literally always does this. I honestly don't even know why he comes. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll take first pick. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Zach. Jay. Kevin, <laughs> let's get it. All-star team, baby. Let's get it, fellas. Let's get it. Uh, listen, bro, the teams are even, so there's no room for you. Sorry. Are we going to Beckett's this weekend? 100%. Yeah. Tony! Wait, what you reading, bud? Oh, this, this looks great, man. Are, are you gonna speak up? Yeah? Didn't think so. <laughs> Loser. <sighs> hey, I'd really appreciate it if I can get that by five. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is so good. Yes, but do um, you think we could just cut this and just put this right at the top? Okay. That's awesome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When we were growing up, teachers, adults, and parents always made comments like, he's very quiet. She doesn't say a lot. He doesn't have a lot of friends. She's always lonely. Whether this was in class or whether it was in the workplace or even at home, these traits were considered weaknesses and the opposites were considered strengths. From then on, at parent-teacher meetings, parents were encouraged to get their kids to talk more, speak up more. Kids were told to not be so quiet, to not daydream or wonder or be curious in different ways. Susan Cain has said, don't think of introversion as something that needs to be cured. It's not something that we need to fix or something we have to solve or something we have to worry about. Because the interesting thing is, everyone is different and that difference is what makes us powerful, effective and needed. Introverts may prefer the quiet. They may prefer space and stillness. They prefer working alone. Introverts prefer a quiet evening in or a one-to-one -one conversation as opposed to a group event. But I wanna make one thing really clear, and this is a really important point. There is a big difference between being shy and being an introvert that Susan Cain makes very effectively. When you're shy, you're scared of being embarrassed or failing. When you're an introvert, you just prefer not to be in overstimulating environments. And the reality is so many of the world's most successful people are introverts. Bill Gates, Steven Spielberg, Michael Jordan, Elon Musk, Dr. Seuss, Emma Watson, three-time Academy Award winner Meryl Streep, Rosa Parks. Being an introvert doesn't stop you from being bold. It's our mistake if we believe we can't be assertive, clear, and express ourselves if we're introverts. Thank you so much, everybody. Good night. <laughs> the biggest mistake an introvert can make is trying to be an extrovert. And the biggest mistake an extrovert can make is trying to be an introvert. Be who you are, start there, find your purpose.